Lenovo. I remember, you know, I used to have IBM PC laptops. I used to, uh, you know, IBM made it one of the early laptops. It had didn't have a trackpad. It had this little button in the middle that uh, the middle of the keyboard, and I really liked that laptop. It was one of the better uh, DOS laptops that I that I had had in my life. And then IBM sold their laptop division, and I think their entire computer division, but certainly their laptop division, to a Chinese company, to Lenovo. And I was like, okay, I'm not buying these anymore. I, not, not to say I don't buy anything made in China. I'm using Apple products now, and they're all made in China. But, you know, I just, the Lenovo thing was a, a Chinese company. It was just a, it was a, it was a bridge too far for me. Now, again, from BBC News, their technology section, uh, Jane Wakefield writing, the headline, Lenovo taken to task over malicious adware. Computer maker Lenovo has been forced to remove hidden adware that it was shipping on its laptops and PCs after users expressed anger. The adware, dubbed Superfish, was potentially compromising their security, said experts. The hidden software is also injecting advertisements onto browsers using techniques more akin to where they added. Lenovo faces questions about why and for how long it was pre-installed on machines and what data was collected. Right. It's 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 pretty breathtaking how how powerful and how extraordinarily you know the the the, the depth and breadth of corporate control of our lives and our our privacy has become. This is this is the this is the essence. This is the key to the whole thing. Americans don't understand this, but the key to the whole thing is not just playing the game, but running the game. You know, in Vegas, they say the house always wins, no matter what. The odds are always that, you know, the, no matter how much money goes through a casino, between 1% and 3% of it is going to end up sticking to the, to the casino. It's just, you know, hey, there's, there's, there's those two green balls on, on roulette, or there's that, you know, it, you can only, you can only double, double down up to the house limit with the blackjack, or yeah, name your game. This is the same thing that big corporations are doing and billionaires in our political process right now. This is what the vice president of the United States spoke about when he said they claim to be super patriots. They demand free enterprise, but they're the spokesman for monopoly. Their final ob objective is to capture political power so that using the state of the power and the power of the market simultaneously, the power of the state and the power of the market simultaneously, they may keep the common man in eternal subjection. The only agency, as it were, the only group that is strong enough to prevent a Lenovo from putting spyware into our computers before they even arrive here, the only agency that is strong enough to prevent uh, Coke Industries refineries or Georgia Pacific paper mills from pouring more poison into the air than they're putting and the water than they're putting right now is government. You can't do it. I can't do it. There is no organized consumer movement in the United States anymore. Unions are down to the point where they really can't do anything other than represent the, the workers that they represent. So what we're left with is corporate rule. Corporate rule and, and like, you know, hey, here it is. You don't have a choice. You don't know what's in your food. You don't know if it's genetically modified or not. The corporations who own our politicians will not allow those politicians to require those corporations to disclose to you if there's genetically modified ingredients in your food. They will not allow those politicians to require the food corporations to disclose to you if there are other ingredients in their food that might be harmful to you. What, what level of pesticide residue is in, the me is in the meal that you ate last night? There's no way to know. Because every time politicians get together and say, hey, you know, maybe people should know this. The industry says, no, you can't do that. 
And we're industry. We run politics in the United States. We have reached the point. This is, this is what Benito Mussolini called fascism. We have reached the point where there are very few politicians in the United States who are willing, much less able, to stand up to billionaires or big corporations. Just can't do it. There's a reason why no banksters have gone to jail. If, if uh, you know, if, if Holder had been sending banksters to jail, the banksters would be funding Republican attacks on the Obama administration. It's not to say Holder shouldn't be sending banksters to jail, but the point is that the banksters are actually stronger than the White House. The food industry is stronger than Congress. The drug industry is stronger than Congress. The tobacco industry is even stronger than Congress. And it's, it's astonishing. When are we going to wake up and say, no? You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-536-2370. Actually, more importantly, when are we going to wake up and say the only power that can hold back these billionaires and corporations is the power of government, and we're going to invest in that? 